Hello, I'm Rob Walsh, President and Owner of Ocean Equipment. We are the manufacturers of NavPod, waterproof housings for marine electronics. We manufacture NavPod at our thermal forming manufacturing facility in Bend, Oregon. Now, earlier this season, we mounted a new star pod aboard the company boat Seawolf. Uh, before we embarked upon about a thousand mile trip through Desolation Sound, the Gulf Islands, San Juan Islands, and returned back to our home port here in Anacortes, Washington. Um, we also mounted uh, Star Pod on board um, Mike Beamer's boat, Black Pearl, right next to me here. Mike also led a flotilla from Wagoneer up to Alaska and back and completed about 1,600 miles. Both of us had the actuated dish, the one with the pole down the middle there. And both of us had just excellent experience and performance from mounting that on into the Star Pod. That's the part number SPS 2000 that we have. Today I want to show you the new SPS 3000 for the flat dish. It's the one I have right here. This is the SPS 3000. I've got the Starlink in here. This is a heavy system. The base here we call the Star Tower. 8 inch powder coated aluminum, 8 millimeter thick, pretty beefy. There's a wedge in between as well. The wedge allows us to rotate this so per the instructions from Starlink you can go ahead and optimize the view of the satellites in the sky with the built-in angle that they provide on that little kickstand. We, we built in the 10 degree angle. The other important thing about the angle that we've experienced, you need the water runoff. If you have a flat star link dish and you don't have an angle on it, water can accumulate. If water accumulates, then you get signal degradation. What I never experienced was signal degradation when I had the water runoff. That was one of the things we converted the previous year. We added the wedge from our experience cruising around. So this, this is the new one. It's larger than the actuated one up there. This is the flat mount one. Now I want to show you some of the components of the StarPod system. From the earlier videos, you saw the installation here aboard Seawolf. Uh, today what I'm gonna show you is just the differences between the installation of the Starlink actuated dish in the StarPod SPS 2000 and the flat dish inside the SPS 3000. There's a wedge with a swivel tube inside it here. This wedge also allows to get the angle for the water runoff, that's very important, as well as a friction fit that you can rotate this. Per the instructions when you get the flat dish, you take out your phone and you optimize the view of the sky. A lot of times it's not necessary, but if it is necessary, you have that option. You can rotate this dish, optimize the view of the sky uh, to get the best performance. I'll turn this upside down and show you the inside. So what we have here, that's the flat mount dish Starlink inside. Okay, these tabs will come pre-installed. You'll just remove the tabs, put the dish in place. We don't use that kickstand. Here's the connection where the wire goes. These are the other components that come with the dish. So you'll see this wire plugs in right down here, and then you'll run it down through the tube. So here's the bottom section of the StarPod system right here. Okay, you'll, you'll assemble the wedge onto the back of the StarPod, and those instructions are all on navpod.com. They'll certainly come with it as well. But let me show you how the two go together right here. One thing I would recommend is you, you plug the wire in here, run it down the base of the star pod mount, and then you put the two halves together. It'll be much easier to install the screws that come with it. Uh, nickel chrome plated stainless steel screws come in a kit. There's the classic nav pod wrench. So when you put these together, you're way better off screwing it together while it's in this position with the cable coming out as opposed to mounting it up there and trying to reach at an angle from underneath. So that's what we recommend is you, you bring the two halves, you finish your installation, have the wire coming out, and then when you're ready to go mount it up top or wherever you're gonna put it on the hard, hard top, then you can just complete the installation with the bolts that you have over here. That's pretty much it there to show you the SPS 3000 StarPod for Starlink for the flat dish.